Fulani group appeals for investigation into killing of 11 kinsmen and calls for removal of military officers. A Fulani social cultural group forum of former professionals in Africa, FOFPRA, has appealed to President Bola Tunambu to initiate a thorough investigation into the killing of 11 Fulani youth at the Luduga Grazing Reserve area of Kaduna State, allegedly by Nigerian military personnel. The group expressed concern over the alleged silence of the government and rights groups regarding the incident. In a statement, FOFPRA called on President Tunebu to delegate a high-powered investigation team to Kaduna State to unravel the circumstances surrounding the deaths of the Fulani youth. The group claimed that the killings were brutal and unjustifiable, urging accountability for the actions of the military officers involved. FOFPRA stated that while they acknowledged the existence of deviant individuals among the Fulani community, the 11 boys killed were innocent and going about their regular livelihood. They will pass the vote of no confidence in the General Officer Commanding GOC-1 Division of the Nigerian Army, Major General Valentine Okuru. Major, Major General Valentine Okuru and Lieutenant Atebe, the commander of the Nigerian Army School of Artillery, NASA in Kaduna, holding them responsible for the alleged extrajudicial killings. The Fulani Professional Group also called on international human rights agencies, including Amnesty International and Transparency International, to intervene and address the perceived injustice. The group emphasized the need for immediate removal and prosecution of the implicated military officers to ensure justice and prevent further negative publicity against the administration on security matters. Now, first of all, I'm not going to jump to say anything yet, but I'm just going to ask. First of all, these people, they were killed. How were they killed? Why would the military kill? Is this news true? Do you understand? Is this news true? If it is not true that these people died, now, why? What led to the death? What were they doing? Were they kidnappers? Were they bandits? We are the people who, what exactly, what exactly is their crime or offense? We're just going to just drop because, believe in me, what is boiling in my mind is, uh -huh. after all, the people that don't kill uncle, those ones that were allowed to walk free, you know, but no. I'm trying so hard not to say that. Why? Because no man, no man, the human nature in me will want to say that. But let us begin with what were their crime? If they committed a crime and the army seems, as in the army, Nigerian army, what's it called? And the crime is so great that, you know, they had to do what they had to do. Then, I don't, uh, it doesn't call for anything. Yes. If you do anyhow, see anyhow, anything where you take, you see, you see, take. Most especially, like I say, if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. You feel I need to quit on that 200 Christians and nothing is said about that. Nobody talks good of Fulanis. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. Evil tribe and people. You understand? Nobody's even coming out to even say okay. Oh. It is only them that is calling for investigation. I don't see any other person here. I don't think I've ever seen. Look at everything I'm seeing here is wipe them off. Kill them more. As in honor life them more. That is what I'm seeing here. On alive them more, on alive them more, everywhere. Okay, listen. Welcome development. Eh? On alive them more, anywhere you see them. Another person is saying, wipe them off. Are they Nigerians? You finally, you finally, so, uh, on alive, 200 Christian, and nothing is said about that. Nobody talks, okay, good or full in Nigeria. Why? I guess it's as good as man, they're an evil tribe and people. They are sitting in the fight. Are you listening? So, it's painful and need to lose their members. But they derive pleasure in destroying people's crops like you and unalive without mercy. 
So you see, most of them they're not even saying it. It's not. It's not a good report. As I said, I hope that people that are even well caught in the middle are people who actually commit a crime. Sincerely. The only legacy Fulanis have for humanity is unaliving and destructions. Nobody can point to any developmental agenda brought to Nigeria by the Fulani except unaliving, banditry, terrorism, retaining of Nigeria economy and kidnapping. What a tribe and the people. Please. Okay. Just because 11 Ful Fulani terrorists were all alive, one will not hear what. How about the hundred massacred by, by Fulani terrorists in Plateau? Another angle. They haven't seen anything, and the annihilation of the entire Fulani terrorist is what we want. They should all be sent to the depths of hell. People are not even, I'm not seeing not even one person sympathizing with these people. Even one. That is how bad it is. Even one person. I'm not seeing it. No need for investigation because they were bandits and kidnappers. Oh. Just imagine a country was a full and a vigilante militia country. You can say that again. Huh? Faceless people, you think it's Buhari government. You will pay for every evil you did against Nigeria during the Buhari government. You people are raving much. Only level of a king's man is too small now. It should have been one million of your people. Feel the pain so that people go through when you own a life the king's man. Rubbish. This man is really, really angry. Nigeria should face this for the people squarely and wipe him out of Nigeria for people to rest with their eyes closed. Look at what somebody is saying. Nobody. Why? Because they are always in the news for the wrong reason. Nobody is coming out to say something nice. These people are calling for removal of military because of just 11 weekend souls to hellfire. How many times did this murderous call for military be removed at Benue State, Taraba State, and Edo State? Edo State on alivings. Terrorists fit only the gas chambers. I did tell you. They are not as in the whole, everything I read was just a waste. I support the call for investigation into the unalivings of the Fulani that is if they did innocent. But the call for removal of military officers on that account is out of order. Now, so Buhari removed the military officers for the wanting killings in, for the wanting unalivings in Benway, Plateau, Southern Kaduna, it is a while in office. No. Useless group investigation should start from the attacks and reprisal attacks. Laughable, it is only in Nigeria you see terrorists appealing to Mr. President to prove the killing of their fellow terrorists. Like, I, I, I don't get. Alright, and this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of